So, John, it's a point on the road. Um, it's probably not the result you expected when we go 2 0 up. No. No, not when you're 2 0 up. I'm, 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 I'm gutted. gutted. Not for myself. I've been doing this a long time and uh, you see everything, you know. Well, for the fans. Unbelievable numbers, and then you tune up playing well, and a goal kick and a and a cross go in, and it's. I mean, don't, listen, the wind, the breeze plays a part. If that's not there, then the balls don't drift the way they, the way they do. But and that, listen, at the end of the day, they've hit the post for the last kick of the game. They could have gone and won three two, couldn't they? Uh, I'm getting fed up with these interviews. I am. <laughs> no, it's nothing personal saying the same things and, and, and saying I'm gutted for different people but um, from my point of view it's just it's just I'm just frustrated because I think from a performance point of view I keep saying I said to you 48 hours ago didn't I? I said from a performance point of view we're alright you don't have to look at how many goals we've scored I would imagine we're in the top three or four top goal scorers yet we've not won a game but well, you're not going to win games if you're conceding 20 goals after eight games and um, it's disappointing we're, we're, listen we're a good side it's, there's good players we think we're decent managers um, and you just gotta, you just gotta believe in what you're doing. You just gotta keep going, because um, eventually, you know, if you keep performing as I've said to you in the past, the way we have been doing. Your luck, if you want to call it that, should turn um, at the minute. We just, we just fall on the wrong side of it, as I keep saying. I was gonna say, looking at the positives, obviously that first half was outstanding at times. There was moments in there we're playing the football that. We know you and Bernard Love. Yeah, loads of positives. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> you, I'm not. I'm not a five-year-old that needs to be told. You know what? What I can see. Um, and try, people trying to pick us up. Um, I know. I know. There's loads of positives. The play, the amount of chances created, the amount of bodies we get in the box. Like I said to you, we've scored 12 goals, but we're bottom of the league. So that's the only stat that matters at this moment in time. We know we're going to get it. We know. We know we get it right. You know, over, over my dead body, will this football could be anywhere near the bottom coming to come the end of the season. Um, and, and that's not just me saying that, it'll be everyone within the football club because at the minute, we're a new football club, at a new level, of, a new level with the most ridiculous injury list that's ever been in force in football. And again, you've seen it today, what's had to happen, subs coming off. We've, and and we've, got a, we, we've got two weeks away from league football now. We've got, we've got a great cup, draw, uh, cup game next week. We've got to reassess what's going on with a few things but I don't need to be told about positives there's lots of positives we took a point away at Southport an ex-league club another one we took a point away from home if someone would have said at the beginning of the season Southport away what do you want I went, I'd said give us a point now please I'll take that but it's the context isn't it it's been 2-0 up it's been 2-0 up at, when was the first goal what 60-65 it's been 2-0 up at 60 minutes but actually when they get that first goal and that second goal and the momentum and the noise and the wind everything going that way you're thinking ooh a point might not be too bad here uh, so yeah there's loads of positives mate I'm not there's, I'm fine there's, we're absolutely fine with what we're doing I was going to say obviously now looking ahead you, you mentioned it there obviously Warrington <coughs> away in the cup next week yeah. obviously you've got no midweek games you've got a couple of training sessions into the lads um, what are you thinking well you're not probably not thinking that far ahead as of yet but in terms of expectations in training this week what do you think the players are going to uh, deliver I don't know because I don't know who's going to be training. So we'll be training Tuesday, Thursday. I would imagine it's moment time we've probably got seven or eight that can train. Um, even the lads, you know, Lois Maynard, who I thought was absolutely amazing today, unbelievable. Um, we were going to take off and he said, just leave me on. Because um, it meant Luke and Navarro going to play in central midfield, you know, defending goal kicks and uh, free kicks and corners and he stayed on the pitch. Um, so I don't... I, we don't know. I know we do this. I know this is your job. And you have to ask questions. You think about your questions. And I haven't got the answers. You probably that, that probably satisfy everybody. So instead, I'll waffle about nonsense. But um, we, we, we'll see where we're at tomorrow. See where we're at on Monday. We'll speak to Brit, the, the, the physio, and, and see what we've got available. And then Tuesday, we'll reflect what we've got available to us. Um, and then Thursday, we'll start thinking about planning for the game on Saturday. And then last but not least, the uh, 240 that made the trip over. That's the, our biggest away attendance that we've had so far this campaign. I, I can only imagine those numbers keep going up. What if we're not winning? You don't know, but they're behind us. We had that the, the, the best fans forum you could ever imagine. The, the people we know, we've talked about this before, the friends, the family, but the people that we've, we've grown to, to respect and love and, and you can see behind everything. They know what we're doing. Not, I'm not talking about me and Burton. I'm talking about they, as a football club. They know what we're doing. So do the football club that it's, it, we're growing aren't we and it's, it's amazing to do and that's why I'm gutted 
I know what this interview looks like. I know what my body lang language looks like with my arms folded. Um, and I know how I sound. And I know people know who I am and what I'm about. But I'm, I'm gutted for them. And they'll, you know, the fans will be, oh, you don't be who I am. I'm gutted because they deserve, after what we went through last season in terms of um, the good times and the performances that we put in this season, they deserve for us to, to, to get that win because of the performances. Simple as. So, unbelievable numbers. Uh, just, just, they've just got to go away a little bit longer for that first win. Nice, Jim.